Today, I want to talk about my first place live as a senior healthcare assistant. I have never been someone who is shy about talking about salaries and pay sleeves or how much I was earning. I've always been that way. Those are conversations that I've always liked to have and I've never shied away from having them if somebody asked me, oh, how much are you earning in this job that you're in? I obviously don't go around asking other people how much they earn because I do know that other people are uncomfortable with disclosing how much they earn and I respect that but just for myself if somebody else asks me how much I was earning I've never minded to tell you this is mainly because I think when I was growing up I used to watch this show which I used to love um, and it was a show where people went to look for a job there were interns there and sometimes they would get offered a job there and you would find all these different careers and you would get an idea of what their day-to-day -day look like and how much you could earn if you're working in that job i also remember that we when i was in high school we went to our local polytechnic college and i remember we went to the food and nutrition um, department and there was this guy and we asked him like he was telling us in general what his day-to-day -day looks like but we also asked him how much he earns because we were very young at that moment and we we're very inquisitive and you know we didn't understand that some people may be uncomfortable if you ask this but he actually didn't mind and he told us how much he was earning we then went to the engineering department and they told us how much they were earning as well. And I remember seeing the huge pay difference between the chef and the engineer. And I know a lot of other students that I went to school with actually went on to become engineers themselves just because of that one conversation they had with the engineer guy who told them how much he could potentially earn when he graduated. So I understand the significance of learning and understanding pay slips and salaries from an early age. So now, even if somebody who's still at school or even if it's somebody on my channel, I'm always very candid about having this conversation. If you look through my channel, I've always spoken about salaries, whether my salaries, I've reviewed other people's pay slips as well. This is something that I just enjoy talking about. Today, I want to talk about my first pay slip as a senior healthcare assistant. Now, just to give you a little bit of context, I worked in the same company for about two years and I started off at 10 euro 50. This was very low. There were other nursing homes that were offering a better wage, but I stayed there because the environment um, was amazing. I had an amazing manager. I've said this many times as well. So I didn't have a lot of responsibilities at the time. So the amount I earned fit my life perfectly and my mental health was in the best of condition um, so I prioritized that. A lot of working environments especially in the healthcare industry can be a bit toxic so if you want if you find a place that um, where the environment is awesome your colleagues are awesome the management is awesome for me it made sense that I stay and prioritize that over making more money. I started off at 10 euro 50 but I'm not going to get into into too deep into that payslip because I've done a video of that payslip I'll link it above here and you can take a look at that yourself um, but today I want to talk about my first payslip as a senior healthcare assistant now first of all I think it is important that even in any job that you try and negotiate your payslip as best as you can I was promoted, um, a promotion came up in my workplace and I decided to apply. It was a senior healthcare assistant position and I decided to apply for that position. I was a little bit reluctant because I didn't think I had the skills, the right skill set, but I remember having a word with my manager and was like, I don't know if I should apply. And she was like, of course, I think you would be great for this role. You have great people skills, so apply. So I applied. Apologies in advance for the dogs barking. They have a very strange habit of 
barking their lungs out whenever I am uploading so apologies so I applied for the job and I actually got the job the job didn't come with that much extra responsibility yes I was responsible for the team that I worked with on the floor and of course I was responsible if I saw something else in the nursing home that I thought needed to be reported I would do that there were so many other duties that came with that but I wouldn't say I was overworked for the money that I was getting paid for this new senior healthcare assistant position. Now, please note that the salary I'm going to tell you is based on a two week wage. So we were paid every two weeks. Usually we worked um, 40, 48 hours, sometimes less per week. So per day, our shift was 12 hour shift. So one week you would work three 12 hour shifts the next week you would work four 12 hour shifts. That's how the roster worked um, over a two week period. So we were paid for breaks and lunch as well, which is not the norm for all places. Some places do not pay for lunch and breaks and it can sound like something minor, but it does impact um, how much you get um, at, the end of the, at the end of the week or at the end of the month. If you're going for an interview, just look, um, just understand as the job is advertised or when you speak to your, um, when you get your contract, for example, take a look at the contract and see that do they actually pay for breaks, especially if you're moving from one job to another just because of money, because sometimes that can actually, you know, be so drastic that you're better off staying in the other job that actually pays for lunches. I don't know if that makes sense. So I would work a 48 hour, um, I would work 48 hours over two weeks and I would get paid um, for those two weeks. Um, and this is how much I got paid as my first salary. And you can compare from my last video when I did my previous first salary reveal as a healthcare assistant. So as a senior healthcare assistant in this payslip, I was working 48, um, 48 hours for this two week timeline, as I've said. So my basic pay, this is over, this is for 96 hours. Um, I got paid 1,200 euro. That is for the two weeks. I got paid 1,200 euro. This is gross. We're going to start with the gross. So this is not actually what hit my account. This is because before all, um, this is before all applicable taxes are removed. So I got paid 1,200 euro. That was my basic pay for the 96 hours that I worked. Now for my Sunday shift, I would get a certain stipend. I think it was 25% over my normal wage. And for for that, I had about 16, 16 hours of that. That's just the stipend, not the hourly rate. And I got 50 euro for working um, those Sunday. I think this was over two Sunday shifts. Now, let's get into the outgoings. Let's get into the taxes. I paid... Um, 121 euro and 26 cents in taxes. I also paid something called PRSI. Those are my PRSI contributions. And I paid um, 50 euro there for the two weeks. USC, I paid 29 euro and 42 cents. So let's look at my total gross pay for this period. My total gross pay was 1,250 euro. My total deductions were 200 euro and 68 cents. So 1,250 euro was what I was paid before tax. And when they took out 200 euro and 68 cents, I was left with 1,049 euro and 32 cents. This would be an equivalent of about 500 euro a week um, in pay, which I actually thought was pretty good. 
um, considering that this was the role that I had just recently been promoted to as a senior healthcare assistant. I would like to say that you can earn much, much, much more if you move jobs more often or if you work with agency work. The only problem with agency work is that the hours are not really guaranteed and especially on summer break when nursing students are free and off, they don't have that much shifts. But in generally throughout the rest of the months, there's actually enough shifts. So this is what I got in total for my first paycheck as a senior healthcare assistant. What do you think? Was this fair? Um, do you think I deserved more? <laughs> what do you think? Um, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you subscribed and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.